Hi guys, so this is my intro before I do the the flip through of the color mirror cards. <coughs> so if you guys don't know, I have been ill um, from COVID actually. Um, yes, I got both vaccines. You can still get it. Um, so I'm getting some fresh air right now. Um, and I'm going to wear a mask if I'm exposed to people. But I'm going to flip through my cards at the park and um, take all my precautions there. But I definitely need some fresh air. And I'll come take you guys with me. I'm also really excited. Next week, um, I'm pretty sure I'll be much better already. Um, there, I reserved like a place in, in Toronto, like a two-night stay condo with my bestie. And she and I are going to enjoy the sunset and the rooftop views. Um, I'm hoping to bring my laptop, yes. But um, if not, then maybe I might do some card stuff. I don't know yet. Um, but there's probably going to be some Insta videos on that. If not, a vlog. I haven't done vlogs for YouTube in a long time. Um, but... Um, so yeah, maybe it's mainly about the food I'm excited about um, and exploring like another area, another city. It's a really bustling city compared to mine. <coughs> but I hope that you guys <coughs> will continue to stay healthy. Um, but yeah, so this color mirror cards, I got it from my witchy best friend, um, Riri or Riley from the UK. And, um, so thank you so much. She shipped it from, you know, where she's from. So I thought I'd show some Canadian trees. This is called a maple tree, I think, because it has a Canadian maple leaves on it. And before, um, we can make sap from this and maple syrup, really. And this is just around my neighborhood. But this is a little bit of the older houses. Um, our house is a little bit bigger. <laughs> but I always thought this tree was like an umbrella. It reminded me of an umbrella. I am not sure if that's a weeping willow. But I do have an app on my phone for insects, birds, and also plants. Let me ask the lady. Hello. Good afternoon. A beautiful garden. What what kind of tree? Oh this is the 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 Oh is that the a whipping Oh a willow tree? Yeah yeah. Oh yeah yeah. It's a strawberry and tree. You can see even it is. Oh no, no you can see. Even it is a plain. Oh. No, even in the you can see. In my country, Philippines. Philippines, yeah, my heaven. Oh, hot, hot country. Uh, my country, yes. Yeah. Italian? Look. Yeah, yeah, Italian. <laughs> look, look. Wow, you're eating the little strawberries. <laughs> oh my god. That's cute. I mean, you don't have to wear a mask anymore here, but I did because I'm not 100% yet. And I just want to protect, especially the elderly, you know. Um, but that was really sweet. I had no idea you can pick and eat the berries from that tree. Wow. There are a lot of Italians around here that seem to know a lot of Filipinos. Huh. Uh, anyway, we'll keep going to the park. <laughs> park I usually go to um, this is like a 10 minute walk from my house and, um, right now I'm really sweating but I need the stretcher <coughs> I need the open space and this is where I'm going to do the flip through the cards um, 
So I will see if, uh, if we'll sit on the grass instead of a table and gonna enjoy my Bavarian chocolate drink here. I got a little bit of milk as well and a protein drink. So yeah, this outdoors helps me heal a bit. And there's no people out here. There are, but I'm far away from them. So I'll continue to maintain my distance. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna find a spot there under a tree. And I'm gonna have a chill, chill time. Yeah. So come with me and we'll flip through the cards together under a tree. So it's a pretty big park. <coughs> I used to chalk here before I got ill and I had the motivation. There's my little stumpy legs. And hearing the birds and stuff is uh, really relaxing. So I'm just taking you on a stroll with me. <coughs> well, I'm a little breathless because of my lungs, but fresh air will do y'all some good. The sun is really nice out too. So yeah, let's just how get some peaceful timing. Guys going gung ho there, running. There's some local birds. I just gotta say, uh, so it's a pretty big park. Um, people go jogging here and stuff. I used to before I got ill. I'm going up to that tree up there. It looks like a good spot. Yeah, so it's a nice sunny day also. It's good to do that stuff. Some fresh air. And my stumpy legs. <laughs> All right, and then we'll flip through in a moment flip through this thing. I just gotta enjoy the view, the wind, shelter with this under this tree because it's hot. My coffee. Um, so this is what it looks like. It has dragons, angels, color perfume bottles for like color therapy and the, the um, messages are very accurate actually. All of my cards are usually accurate. And this one is really good for only a few dollars and a convenience store. It has like eucalyptus and can... Today's another day and I'm gonna go back to the park and now I have enough room and storage so that I can film for the mirror cards uh, flip through. So stay tuned again. So the Wi-Fi still out um if you guys have rogers wi-fi all over canada it is still out but i am enjoying this breeze out here it's really relaxing and it's nice and sunny out so it's uh it's warm but it's not too humid so perfect this is the neighborhood, this is my neighborhood that I walk around in. Right now it's quite warm. I did, I usually do bring uh, snacks. Here's my little outfit of the day. I bring snacks and drink to stay hydrated when I read or walk to the park or chill there. Um, always gotta get your snacks in. But this became a vlog, but that's okay. Um, you guys kind of like taking you guys with me in a way. So the stand that my friends um, got me is, it broke again. I don't know how. <laughs> I think this is like a cheap stand. But, um, so I'm going to film it like this. And I've got my Gatorade and snacks here. We're going to get started with the box. I'm sitting under a tree right now. But the box kind of looks like this. Color mirror oracle card, psychology of color for personal and spiritual transformation. Now, my favorite form of divination is cards and um, 
there's oracle cards which give like general guidance and then there's tarot cards which is a whole deck of spiritual deck of cards that have its own set of meaning that I also interpret like intuitively but these are oracle cards okay so the author has specific meanings for them or you can also intuitively kind of um, get messages from here but it, it's, it has like colored oils essences dragons and angels in here and even there's a free mini meditation as well so that's interesting um, and this is a 27 UK lire or pounds so you can pause this if you want to read the back this is by Moira Bush and this is what the, the box looks like the wind just picked up as well very nice so this kind of gives me the vibes of like this, this is like reminds me of sacred geometry in a way it comes with this booklet and the meanings look like this okay it has the, t the number the title a little description and like questions you can ask yourself um, even the angels and the dragons have like these perfume bottle colors and colognes and with attributed meanings so it's light blue the inner box is just very simple and um, this is the author I forget who did the I guess there's not really in illustrations the graphic design is by like a studio company at the card art is by Hester Simon so it is um, this is what the back of the cards looks like and it has a silver silver gilding is what the word is yeah silver gilding the edges is silver lined I love gilding metal gilding um, my other angel cards is like gold this one is silver like a mirror makes sense and we'll start off I shuffled them this is how it shuffles okay I'm gonna try to do it in my lap this is usually how I shuffle them and this is how it looks like when you shuffle so now we're gonna go through each of the card uh, art and I'll skip the timeline here so and then you guys can just look straight at the art we have olive wood elemental it says detox royal blue dragon indigo adult and then we will shuffle one and pull one when, and I'll read the meaning of the book orange sexuality your body is the gift green angel balance and harmony Copper Gaia, Earth is home. Gold Angel, expansion and visibility. Green Dragon, decision and changes. Black Phoenix, rebirth. Pink Love and Money. Uh, what's it? Partnerships and abundance. Gold dragon. Um, move mountains. Oh, there's also numbers to here. This one says 13. Blue communication, peaceful words, 25. So I will just say the number when I, we pick a card. Blue lilac, gateway to heaven, the next level. And the wind just picked up here. Black dragon, light and darkness. Red Dragon, Compassion, uh, Pink Angel, Love and Romance. The wind is really strong right now. Indigo, Intuition, Telepathic, in Internet? Mm. Clear Air Elemental, It's an Illusion. So this kind of reminds me of old school art. Turquoise Dragon, The Future. A white dragon color healer turquoise emotion emotional wisdom 
trust the flow. Blue Angel, you are safe. Um, turquoise, water elemental, say what you feel. Orange, fire elemental, fire walk. Violet, service, thank you. Clear Angel, grat grace, uh, gratitude and grace. Platinum Om, the sound of creation. Platinum Angel, oneness. Gold, uh, gold metal elemental, the alchemist. Coral Angel, manifest your dreams. Bowl of hope, new beginnings. Lilac Angel, forgiveness. Red Angel, physical energy. Coral self acceptance, your body. Magenta, Magenta Metatron Archangel, the time is now. White Soul, Congealed Light. Yellow Joy, laugh and play. Copper Earth Elemental, get grounded. A Magenta Bridge, unpanic. Red family, tribal relationships. Yellow angel, focus your intent, in, intellect. Sorry. Pink dragon, inner child. Gold, I am, claiming authentic power. The wind picked up again. Green space, setting boundaries. And copper dragon, energy healer. We're gonna shuffle and we will see a card for the collective. <clears throat> and then I'll read out loud a description in the book. So we got <laughs> underneath we got copper energy copper dragon energy healer. And then the card that I picked is orange sexuality. Your body is the gift. <laughs> So, one moment. This is number nine. Our body is a gift, really. So, number nine. So, this is what it looks like. In the beginning, we'll see. It does say, like, introduction to what color mirrors are. Color and your cells. Spiritual blueprint. Working with color. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Spiritual psychology and how to work with these cards. Um... So he uses spiritual psychology and dual colored essential oils as a way of like color therapy. And this system was founded by Melissa Jolly in South Africa during 2001. So this kind of accelerated this person's personal spiritual transformation. So the color also helps their client to make powerful changes. So, they, so that's why this lady, Moira Bush, created this book, The Color Cards. There's also like apps and online meditations for this at colormirrors.com. But so what this Born Sexuality number nine card is as says Okay, so I'll hold it up. It says past belief systems had us feeling guilty about our bodies and encouraged its celibacy and being pious as necessary to be spiritually connected. That pattern is so deeply buried in cells that often we only realize much later on that while we were engaged in spiritual studies, we had lost touch with our material world. Has your time of introspection and self-searching caused you to isolate yourself from having intimate relationships or having fun with your body? Oh, Keeping the sexual energy center closed also means you're limiting your creative abilities. Op open to having fun with your body and it will release any stuck issues you have in your in writing that book, starting that business, or finding creative solutions to your problems. Being, begin by doing something adventurous you've never tried before with your body. Bungee jump, attend dance class, paint class, or try cooking exotic new dishes. Any new activities can help you appreciate your body. Without your body, you could not be having this human experience on this earth. Honor your body and show your gratitude by allowing your body to play and express itself creatively. Alright, and then Copper Dragon, number 
number 38. I'll also read this. I, I've cut this multiple times already. But um, I will read this out loud. So, Copper Dragon Energy Healer. This is what the description looks like. <clears throat> So in this card says, everyone has the ability to use their love to send messages of healing, care, and gratitude to others. Studying energy healing systems will help you harness the ability with energy, to work with energy, to be more effective as a tool of healing and transformation. And that's why I'm reading this book now, actually, which I've been, I'm in the hundredth page, but it's a, it's kind of a thick book. It's like over 200, it's like 300 page. It's like this thick. But I got this book on um, ancestral spiritual practices and healing. And because my grandparents did this, um, I find it very fascinating. <laughs> and, um, okay, anyway. You are a powerful channel for healing energy. It comes from the earth, through your heart, and flows from your hands to where it is needed. The copper dragon will help you find the energy system that best suits you for healing yourself and then to share that knowledge with others through therapy work and teaching. The compassion and love you hold is the foundation for all of your future work. So yeah, there you go. So that's what the color mirror cards are with the silver energy. I'm gonna put this away and I'm gonna enjoy my snack, read a little bit, and watch something on my phone. This way, right now my mobile data kicked back on, which is good. And there you go. And that's my recording. And hopefully, I can upload this. I hope that the Wi Fi will come back on. But if not, that is your flip through and kind of like a walk in the park vlog. Take care. Um, this is just my outro. I'm just sitting under this tree here and I'm just enjoying this breeze. <clears throat> um, so I hope that you guys get some nature time in as well and um, take care of yourselves. And um, <clears throat> I feel much better. I don't have fever as much now. But this is up by the tree. Here's my socks. Hello. And a little tripod is kind of broken. <laughs> it's like taped. <laughs> and yeah, this is the same park that I usually go to near my house. Yeah. Bye, guys.